Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This is the past life soulmate reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Moon Venus, and South Node. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Please give me a message for Gemini. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. All right, there is a outcome that you have been trying to reach with this soulmate. And it seems like you guys have always gotten close, but you never reach it. It's getting close here, though. Uh, this, is, this is something that when you think about it, it puts you at ease. It makes you calm. Uh, it's probably one of those things that you dream for the most with this person. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. So your sense of comfort, security within yourself has a lot to do with reaching this outcome here. Nine of Pentacles. It's... um. It's like your sense of independence is playing a role. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. A lot of you are, are hoping to come together with this person as a unit. But I'm sensing that uh, any of you may be single. You probably have been single for a while. And you're starting to... You're starting to just... Focus on yourself and what you build for yourself, which is actually a part of uh, breaking this karmic cycle with this person. So in a past life, you could have had a family with them, but you never had that, uh, that emotion of fulfillment. It's like something was always missing here. And I feel like this lifetime... You, you felt very close to reaching that because what you're wanting is is everything. The happy home, the emotional fulfillment, the material possessions, uh, well-rounded family unit with this person. It just feels like it just comes really close, but you never have it all. So um, a lot of you may have been seeking companionship for a while, but you never can find that right person. Ten of Wands. Okay. So. This is something that you've been carrying for a while. A lot of you may attract people who have a lot of uh, past baggage. They may come into the relationship with a lot of baggage. Okay, many of you could be attracting fire signs. I'm getting someone who, uh, they may be very, very, you know, active, like action oriented. They like to do things. I'm going to keep going here. Okay, we got the Five of Swords. This has been going on for a while. Uh, it's like a hard battle. But that's this is what I was feeling. Because now we got the Nine of Cups. So here's what this is about. This is about you finding your own emotion of fulfillment. We got Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles here. These two cards indicate someone who has to fill their own void. So many of you may be attracting twin flame relationships, someone who is a mirror to you. Someone who they're interacting with you is showing you what you need to work on for yourself. There's like this ongoing battle. Yeah. 
you, uh, you might actually find yourself feeling very, very like ready to just start doing things on your own and uh, detaching from trying to find a romantic relationship because there's this sense of being tired. But uh, wish fulfillment is your goal. And you can actually bring that in. This person is playing a role in the sense where they're supposed to show you what you need to work on on your on yourself here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. You need to be working on yourself. Some of you, there's something that you should be working on for yourself. A certain project here, trying to build for yourself here. And then we have the Nine of Wands. This is about to come together. I feel like there's... You're close to your completion stage here. You have three Nines, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands. So you're close to reaching this goal. Um, there's work needed though. King of Wands. Yeah, I was feeling fire sign energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. See, they're, they're coming in. Their energy, you're supposed to pick it up. Okay, and start building for yourself. The King of Wands is uh, very confident, very driven. And... Um, Independent, goes after what he wants. Usually a, a business owner, entrepreneur. There are things this person is dealing with and may not you may not be aware of. I, I feel someone who has like a secret life. I don't, I don't know. Uh, they have things that they're not really proud of is what I want to say. I see a card flipped. Okay. I guess it's not here. Oh, yes, here it is. Seven of Wands. There's something they're blocking or fighting off. Some, okay, so you may not trust this person. They may give you concerns. It's because they're insecure. There's something they're trying to hide that they're not proud of. It could be in their work. So they may be having a hard time in their, what they do for a living, their profession. This is someone who's used to being successful. So they do deal with a lot of pride. I can't tell you, I see them working really hard here. Uh, there's, there's energy effort being put in to bring this in. I'm gonna see what this is. Because the ultimate, this is like the ultimate goal that they seek. Three of Wands. Why is it Three of Wands here? It's like they're trying to make sure their ships sell in. Here, Three of Wands, please. Why is it Three of Wands here? Two of Pentacles. Working hard. This card. Five of Swords again. Yeah, they feel like they've been working hard to complete some kind of fight, some kind of battle. Indecision is showing up here, back and forth. I see somebody very busy. Uh, you all may be working on a project that keeps you going, keeps you busy. Please tell me more about the Five of Swords. I have the Five of Swords here. Nine of Swords. Wow, you guys have all the nines here. This uh, experience is trying to 
complete this lifetime. It's taking a lot It's taken like this this is this is hard work for both of you it feels like hard work so some of you you might end up uh i don't know i'm starting to feel like giving up on this person because it, it's taking too much you, you've done this before so some you may not have patience with this person they may be able to push your buttons really easily I mean, it's, it's trying to end. Nines are endings. And you, All the nines are here. Queen of Cups. The two of you were uh, married in the past life. There's, there's strong love emotions here. King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So you all do have... There's, there's uh, emotions here between the two of you. Someone's taking it harder than the other. One hides it better than the other. But there is definitely a lot of emotion. We have the Ace of Cups. Uh, there's a chance to renew this after whatever... Whatever needs to end, after it ends, I see an opportunity for renewal. And I just noticed this is the five of wands. It's like a lot going on at once. And that's why I'm getting all of this. So there may be somebody else in the picture for many of you. We have three of pentacles here. Yep, queen of swords. Some of you, this, there's something this person needs to cut out. And uh, the tower. So there's a situation that's about to change. For those of you who this is concerning someone else, like there's competition here. There's about to be a change in that. But this is a this is like a hard fight, is what I'm feeling. Let's pull some soul to soul messages. See what messages you all want to send back to each other. This is a soul to soul healing messages deck. It is available on my website. Please give me a message for Gemini. Okay. Yeah, you've definitely done this before. We've done this before in a past life, so let's heal completely so that we don't have to repeat this lesson again. Yeah, this is something that you guys have been trying to do for a while. I experienced deep pain every time I had to step it up a notch with the lessons I were to take you through. So whenever they show up in a certain way, it's a reflection of themselves well, I'm sorry, it's a reflection of you. So that was a part of the lesson, trying to get you to see something about yourself so that you can better yourself. And it really hurt them every time uh, they had to take you through a different lesson. This person will be um, back. They said we will meet again, so see you soon. So uh, I feel like in this lifetime, if the two of you are not in communication, there's this is still incomplete. It's trying to end, but they'll they'll be back. Okay, in the extended, I'm going to see. I'm going to see what you guys are currently going through and what you can expect from that experience. For those of you who are dealing with a past life soulmate, okay. And I'm going to leave it there. I really hope this was helpful. Jim and I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.
It's um, trying to make you stronger. This is about you. Uh, believing in yourself, having the courage to go after what you want. Wow. You have so much help around you, Gemini. So much. And you have, everything is in your favor. You're about to close out this cycle with the will of fortune. The will is turning in your favor. This is paying off major karmic debt. 